My name is Ali Klebo. I have been a professor, researcher in Tokyo, in Kyoto, in Jerusalem, in the States. I am a Jerusalemite through and through. From time for the past 2,000 years, my family is here. And yet, I cannot access my properties, what I inherited from my father and my grandfathers. I am considered absentee. What's the story? The story is as complex as Jerusalem is itself. I have my properties. I stand in front of them right now. Here is my land in Baka and my house in Katamon, among many other properties. But I am denied access to them. I am denied ownership of them. I cannot dispose of them. I cannot sell them. I cannot use them myself. And this infuriates me. The story is and began and crystallized when the USA decided to build its offices for its embassy on my land in Baka. This is a land that has been part of the family's patrimony for the past 350 years. They don't care at all who owns it, what is the history of the place. All they care for is to please the Israelis and have the embassy in Jerusalem against us, against our pride, against our history, against our integrity, and against the basic human rights to own property. It's extremely vexing, annoying, uh, frustrating to be so helpless knowing that Israelis and Americans can decide the fate of my social history, of my property, of my identity, against all international laws that recognize Jerusalem as not only a contested city, but as an occupied city. Maulana, Sheikh Mohammed al-Khalili, my great-great-grandfather, had two properties. The major year-round property is now outside Herod's Gate. That's where my family lived for the past 200 years. And then the other property in Baka, that was the summer house. The summer house is rich with history, with memories. This is where they went for the summer months. It was cooler in the open hills. The property also is co-shared, co-inherited with the major families of Jerusalem. He was recognized as the greatest scholar in Palestine in the period. And he was very wealthy. Who is who in Jerusalem is related to him and is a beneficiary of this land that the American embassy wants to take. By taking it, they are depriving us of our rights to be, of our rights of ownership, but most important, they are obliterating our social history. Unfortunately, you go there, it's the empty space. It has been destroyed in the wars. It was rented as a barracks to the British during the mandate period. My uncle, was the one who signed the contract with the British, Hassan Klebo, the older brother of my father. But since then, they have the, it has disappeared. What remains is the memory, the contracts, uh, the receipts, and the stories that we hear about how they spent the summer in the countryside. The property, in this sense, represents one last token, archival evidence of our presence over the thousands of years in Jerusalem. This property is threatened. Our social history is threatened. The Israelis have decreed a law in whose terms we become absentees. That is, we don't have the right to rent, to buy, to live or to use these properties, who are total outsiders to it, who are absentee owners. This came to be after 48, when Jerusalemites were forced outside of West Jerusalem into East Jerusalem, which was controlled by, annexed by Jordan. That fact itself justified for the Israelis to call us enemies in enemy land, and as such, we don't have rights.
I asked the American administration to keep their hands off our property. That's one thing. But I asked them to reconsider the grievous error they are committing by moving the embassy to Jerusalem, which is against international laws. And this really hurts us that all our rights, all our quests, all our uh, dreams of return of a peaceful Jerusalem are further undermined by this aggressive act.